Facebook ads breakdown used to be really powerful when we used to have values against all the metrics instead of just blanks after the iOS 14 update. Well, people say this a lot, but I don't believe that. I think it is as powerful as it was. You just need to know where to look at. And in this video, I am going to share you my secret tactic for using breakdown inside my Facebook ads dashboard. But before that, let me give you a walkthrough of the breakdown section. It appears over here on the upper middle right side of your dashboard next to columns. There are three types of breakdowns by time, by delivery and by action. When you choose any of these options, you get a breakdown of your campaign, ad set and ads, as you can see on your screen. You can intermix these three types as well. well keep in mind that you can't intermix them with themselves. Well, what that means is you can mix age with week and see what is the performance of a specific age group in a particular week. But you can't mix age with region or age with platform or mix destination with the brand. Now, coming back to the point, how do I utilize breakdown? Well, I have pulled out one of my test accounts to walk you through the process. After the iOS 14 update, Facebook has been doing a lot of data modeling to capture and show accurate conversions. And maybe they are not sure of that modeling or they need a lot of servers to provide a granular view of those conversions in the form of breakdown. And therefore, you will see a few columns blank. And because of these blanks, most Facebook ads experts think that breakdowns are worth nothing. But that is not the case. You still have these metrics and they aren't blank. These metrics are more than enough to give you a sense of what is working and what is not working. The first metrics that I use is this day metrics, which is inside by time. This is very useful when you just launched a campaign. You can have a look at the metrics, you know, which are CPC, CPM, CTR and understand how the campaign is performing daily in the beginning. You will get the answer to the questions like is the campaign improving day by day or is it going in the other direction? And if not, what is the culprit and all the basic questions which revolve around this thing. As the week passes by, this will help you identify patterns. And by patterns, I mean, does Friday generally get you the cheaper traffic or is Saturday really expensive and a lot more. So, well, these are the patterns. Then the second metrics that I use is week. The analysis is similar to the previous metrics, but the time range is bigger compared to a day. It doesn't give me a day wise pattern that I just discussed, but definitely helps me understand how my campaigns perform as they age up. The correlation between campaign performance and age will help you strategize better and obviously you will know the lifetime of all the creators as well as the audience and that will help you predict better in future. Then inside delivery, I use age, gender and business location to understand my target audience. Now listen to this very carefully. These three breakdowns will help you understand who your actual target audience is. You must have heard me talk a lot about contextual creativity. Well, these three metrics will help you understand which age group, gender and region interact the most with your ads. And then you can use that data to create hyper targeted ads for those people. In addition, it also tells you that the other age groups aren't convinced with your ads. So you need to create ads catering to them as well. But don't overdo this hyper targeting as it can, in, you know, it can basically increase the CPC and that will defeat the purpose and you will get a very high cost for acquisition because CPC has now increased. I never use media type because I segregate different media in different campaigns. So it isn't useful to me. And by that, I mean, I'll make a campaign only of video or only of images. So it segregates the media. Then I look at the impression device. It just adds up one more dimension inside my target audience. If my target market is super expensive, then a lot of iPhone users will be interested in the product. And I guess you got the picture. I'm going to explain this more. Then I look at the breakdown placement. This is the place that tells me if any of the placement is giving me better results than the others. And if yes, then I would like to run a campaign only on that placement. And I would try to use multiple customized variations on the ones that are not working for me. I've already discussed about placements inside this video. You can definitely check it out. Uh, you know, if you have any doubts about the same, well, I would say don't underestimate the power of customized placements. Post this breakdown, I check time of day. You can check either of these until you are aware of what each stands for. And I guess they are pretty self-explanatory. Time of day gives me the trend and pattern of all the metrics across the day. Just like I mentioned while discussing week and day, these patterns will help you set benchmarks for every hour of the day. And if there is an anomaly at any given day, then you will know that pretty early and inform all the stakeholders about that particular thing. Also, this breakdown helps me answer questions to a lot of impatient clients. Like, you know, those clients who get anxious at 6 a.m. in the morning because they didn't receive as many orders as they did yesterday by 6 a.m. You know, like those clients who are like, hey, Sanjay, we got 56 orders yesterday by 5 a.m. Why are we at 42 orders right now at 5 a.m.? Has Facebook stopped spending? <sighs> Trust me, I wanna. People generally look for the time of the day inside buy time section of the breakdown, but this is inside the buy delivery section. I guess this is good because now you can amalgamate week with the time of day and then further export this in Excel and do a lot of things with that. Mainly you can identify if there is a major pattern interrupt if, you know, with each week passing by. Now the next section is buy action. I'm generally not a fan of this one and therefore I never use it. People use it 
I don't find anything I can use here, frankly speaking. You can surf through these and you might be interested in carousal cards, but this will tell you which slide of carousal works for you. I'm generally not interested in that anyway. You might also get fascinated by brand and category if you are running catalog ads, but frankly speaking, you should create different campaigns for different category and brand anyway. So no use of this as well. You might want to try and mix it with other breakdowns, uh, you know, from other categories, but that will be unnecessarily overwhelming yourself. And it's like, why would you want to do that? The rest of the breakdowns are not that useful for me, so I just don't use them. Well, that was all for this video. Is there anything that you use from breakdown and would want to share with all of us? Then let us know in the comments below. We are all learners and would be grateful if you share your wisdom with us. Also, if you are a beginner, then check out this full Facebook ads course by, you know, clicking over here. It is free of cost and you know it will act as a catalyst in your journey to become a facebook ad expert click over here until next time bye bye